my um, Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're out here looking at a house that came up for sale. Uh, looks like it was a hoarder that lived here and they're selling it as is. So we're just gonna take a look around and see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. There's a piano in there. It's filled to the ceiling. Oh, oh that's oh, junk. Yeah. Why yep. Okay. Yeah, this person really loved their stuff. Okay, I've seen enough. <laughs> I think they would love their stuff if they did. The ceiling's caving in. Yeah. But the walls, they're luckily those, are, that's... That's okay over there. Wow. Wow. This thing's listed for $50,000. It's going to take a lot of work. I can see why they listed it so low. It's a tragedy. There was a lot of... It's a tragedy. There's a lot of uh, mess there. But it's one acre and most of the acreage is that mountain right there. And so there's a lot of unusable land here. You're just getting a house and a place to park the car. So look at that junk. Look at that garbage. And there's four vehicles down here that they, I guess, have come with the property. There's a uh, swimming pool. We just spotted a swimming pool right there. Well, that's, never mind. Yeah, that's. Okay, and look at all those wine bottles. Look at all those wine bottles. This person loved their wine. And this is wine country up here. Golly! We found a pool. Lot of cleanup. It, it can be done. It can be done. Yep, it can be done. Is this worse than what a shame? The property that you got. Did you get my uh yes. Okay. okay, there's a mountainside right there. That's creepy. That could come tumbling down on the house. Hey, there's a wood chipper here. A chipper shredder. There's a lot of value there. TV set. There's four vehicles there. There's a freezer. Who lives here? Somebody's still feeding cats. Go right up those steps. Right there? Yeah. This place is fully furnished. It's got stuff everywhere. And they're, and they're, se and they're selling everything? Okay. Your key? Oh, pretty rough. The hillside looks like it's creeping. Yeah. There's a door. This caved in. Careful, son. Okay, this goes nowhere. Yeah, but look at this whole front porch caved in. There's some uh there's some underthink planning going on down there. 
take that out and build a wood deck. There's an old bicycle. Hey, Julia! Oh, look at that view. Okay, I see what you're saying here. Okay. Wow. Okay, looking past the trash, you got a nice little patio right here. And the house looks in relatively decent shape. Uh, uh, the roof needs to be cleaned off or re-roofed. But this is iffy. There's a great big gaping hole in here. Needs to be backfilled. And it's piled up to the door. Yeah. So the main entrance is over here, uh, down below. Wow. Okay. I was the other way. Well, there's a lot of dangerous garbage over there. This roof's caved in. You know what? I'll, I'll just stay over here. Hey, hang on a sec. You got a house over there? Okay. And there's another shed right there. But does it belong to this property? Wow. I guess so because the fence is right there. Yeah, it's a greenhouse right there. So I'm going back this way. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here and it's really overgrown with berry bushes. There's a lot of work here. A lot of work involved. Hey, this is a walnut tree. Look at all the walnuts on the ground. A walnut tree. Nice. Okay. No, the structure looks in a lot better shape than I, I imagine it to be. Okay, that stair's going up. All right. Several dumpsters. A herd of goats. A herd of goats would clean all this up. Okay. It resembles Pine Meadows Hobby Farm when we bought it. There was raw trash and abandoned cars and destruction devastation when we bought it but on the level that this one is it's a tragedy the uh, it's larger scale uh, as far as what we had to deal with at Pine Meadows but looking past all of it you can see the potential without getting in and seeing this actual structure of the house yet. Uh, don't know what condition the roof is in. That would be a, that would probably be a deal masher if the roof was, uh, had been leaking over the years and causing too much damage internally, then the properties would not be worth it at all. So, It was an interesting adventure. Thank you for uh, coming with me and allowing me to share this adventure with you. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen of Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Uh, please subscribe, give me a comment, and leave a um, thumbs up. It really helps me on my YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.